Just imagine, force controlling a 3D printer. Well, here on Zachary's 3D Prints, I'm going to talk about the WizMaker P1 that is going to be on Kickstarter soon. Hello, this is Zachary, and like mentioned in the intro, today we are going to talk about the WizMaker P1. And since it is a Kickstarter campaign, be careful when pledging, you can lose your money if this product is not going to be sent out. All the informations are on the website of WizMaker.com. So, Let's get into the video. This 3D printer, if I can be very honest, it looks very similar like the i3 style 3D printers we have seen all before. The Ender 3, the Ender 3 Pro, the Ender 3 V2, which is currently printing some parts. However, there are some changes on this machine. The hot end, the carriage, the thing that prints on your print bed, it is looking very bulky. It looks like something that I've seen on the snap maker but further it is looking very nice and very stylish it is going to be a dual lead screw setup the x-axis gantry is moving very synchronized over the z-axis so that is very nice some of the features just like mentioned it is a voice controlled 3d printer energy conservation type one monomer nozzle i don't know what monomer mo nozzle is but anyways a smart led indicators express setup well most of those i3 style 3d printers i have seen they basically use the same kind of principle it's it's 90 95 99 percent pre-assembled the screen is a 4.3 inch lcd touchscreen cover random black pei sheet so no cover random glass mat patented voice control user interface it's the world's first 3d printer with voice control the unique patented voice control operation allows you to control the machine easier by voice orders something like hello wizard exit preheat abs cool down light on volume down maximum volume mute mode self-test and current state smart led indicators here you have a few different kind of colors of led lights showing you or giving you an indication what the status is of this 3d printer so that is a very nice thing a patented ai energy saving system zone heating beds and ai algorithm work together to form the wispy one's unique patented energy saving system so, so shortly term if you are going to print something on the middle of the build plate the edges are not going to be heated if you are going to slice something i hope you will take take heat of it that you are going to put something in the middle and not putting it somewhere on the edges what i think if you are going to put it on one of the corners is it going to heat on that side yes or no that's a great question i think and so further the integrated nozzle system so this is a direct drive printer so that's great maintenance become something so easy you may look forward to it well that's not too bad oh you can print with the p1 um okay i see some plastic things standing there so for me it doesn't say anything at all so 4.3 inch lcd touchscreen it's in the portrait mode a smart three dimensional leveling system so it's on 16 points with its advanced sensors and ai algorithm it's a, it's one thing that i read every single time ai 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 so it sounds like they want to say that this is a very smart 3d print i hope it really is yeah abl i think that's a pretty normal thing does this have leveling knobs no so this printer doesn't look like it has leveling knobs i think the p2 is going to get leveling knobs a spec comparison chart is here if you are looking to the printer you see two other printers i don't want to say i have them both their machine is compared with the reality cr6 se and with the Anycubic Viper, the printer that I do have. Maybe they could have the BQBX there as well, because I think that the BQBX, the Anycubic Viper, and the CR6 SE are all in the same kind of line. Gantry type, they say that the structure mode of this 3D printer is gantry type is closed base. Those other ones are not closed, but I mean, it are aluminum extrusions so i don't think that's any fashion 4.3 inch high resolution lcd i do need to agree with that that the cr6 se screen and also the screen from the anycubic viper aren't that great so i think for that reason that they choose different kind of 
printers but well touch control for both of the machines but this one has a control interface with the whiz touch interactive control chinese english human voice computer interaction control system so there are a lot of things i don't want to go over it for a long time they are saying that the anycubic fiber has a leveling time of 10 minutes i'm not sure if it is really 10 minutes i mean i never paid attention to it maybe i should the leveling time on this printer is two till three times which is similar like the cr6 as you form for it it's uh it's very quickly but it's really depending on how you have your movement settings in your printer so it's a very nice machine i don't know what the price is going to be but if i may do a guess i think if they would ask retail price something around the 430 us dollars kickstarter campaign sometimes sometimes it's it's 30 percent off uh, if you have a normal basic kickstarter campaign price keep an eye on the 3d printing nerd so heads up to uh, joel the 3d printing nerd let me know what do you think about a voice controlled 3d printer so uh, if you are interested check out the link in the description of this video this video is supported by these awesome patreon supporters Roy Moses, The Lightspeed, Fixin' Dude, Carl Fenton, Nate Williams, and YJ. Thank you guys for your support. And I will see you next time. Peace. Bye bye.